Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I am going to go over my 39th week of pregnancy. Today I am officially 40 weeks pregnant. Today is my due date. Um, so that's pretty exciting, pretty good milestone. I was so happy when I made it um, to Easter Sunday because Easter Sunday was March 31st and as I was going to bed I'm like, yes, I made it to April. I'm like, <laughs> my friend thinks I'm like the, cr or, well not just, well my one good friend thinks I'm really crazy because I really wanted to make it to April. She's like, nobody in their right mind has ever wanted to be pregnant the entire length of their pregnancy. Usually people are done being pregnant. I'm not done being pregnant. I enjoy being pregnant. Not that I, not that I like love being pregnant and I want to be pregnant all the time or anything like that. Um, but I like that uh, my baby is healthy and he's grown to uh, what is considered a healthy, you know, stage. You know, he there's nothing that he should be developing anymore at this point. He's just gaining weight. So it's very exciting. So let's talk about my symptoms during my 39th week. Pretty much exactly the same. Um, I still feel really great. I hate when people all say to me, I bet you're really ready for this to be over. Um, that's really annoying because I think it, it's like not the way that they, if they were asking it, um, it's not, it's just the way that they, they are saying it. It's like they want you to be miserable. And I'm not miserable. Um, now, now people say also that, um, they, they are like, you haven't had the baby yet? And that's really annoying because people said that. I'm like, I haven't even gotten my due date. I'm patient. You should be patient too. Uh, but it's just like annoying. And then <laughs> now I text two of my girlfriends every morning. No baby yet. <laughs> no baby yet. Um, but yeah. So I don't know. But my symptoms, acid reflux, which these are a great thing for acid reflux, Tums. <laughs> and as well as um, Pepsi, or what is it, Zantac 150. I take that every night. Um, I've been dehydrated. So I've just been drinking lots and lots of water. I've been pretty exhausted where I do take naps now <laughs> every day at about two o'clock. I take like an hour to two hour nap. <laughs> Very fun. Um, I definitely feel as though I'm a lot more swollen. Um, I can see it in my face, especially like here and everything. I just see it in my arms. I just, I know that I'm like towards the end, I'm just getting a little more swollen. So that's one of the reasons like I'm ready to be done with my pregnancy at this point, but I'm not like... I'm not, I'm not dreading it. I'm just, I'm just, when he wants to come, he can come. But <laughs> um, I definitely feel more swollen. My husband and I went to Best Buy the other night. And when we were at Best Buy, I told, like, I walked into the bathroom to go use the restroom. And I started to feel like I was the marshmallow guy from, um, <laughs> from, what's it called? Ghostbusters, you know that big marshmallow guy? That's what I felt like, and then I looked in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I don't look that puffy. But I felt that puffy. Um, so, yeah, swollen. Um, but I'm really not uncomfortable. So I don't think that he's necessarily, like, dropping down or anything quite yet. Um, you could be the judge when I show you my belly if he seems to have dropped it all or not. I have another doctor's appointment tomorrow. I didn't actually have a doctor's appointment in my 39th week. Um, just because I had one at, like... 38 weeks, six days, or something ridiculous, and then um, I'll have mine uh, tomorrow, which we'll see what happens. I'll talk about that in another video. Um, baby's moving. Um, my doctor made sure to tell me just check that he moves after every meal, um, like four times after every meal, and you're good. And he's been making really big movements, so that's all really well and good. Um, if you haven't watched, I filmed a What's in My Hospital Bag video, so I suggest you watch that. Um, if you possibly, uh, I don't know, just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. I went to Babies R Us one day this week, and I really don't need anything else. <laughs> and I walked around the store literally like three or four times just like hmm, I don't I feel like I should be buying something but I don't know what to get anymore so because I feel like I really have everything that I actually need I ended up buying some baby toys um, which are by the company sassy um, I just wanted to get some like nothing overly stimulating so like kind of like with the black and white theme but you know a little color in there um, 
I this week also purchased some blankets. <laughs> I got this one, which is really cute. Um, I ordered this one from a website called Giggle.com. It's one of my favorite baby websites, and it just has foxes on it, and it's by a company called Dwell. And then th my husband's personal favorite, I don't know if this one is necessarily a baby blanket or not, um, but it's I got this one from a website called AllModern.com, and it's by a company called Firm Living, and it's a Danish design, but it's made in India. And it's their square pattern blanket. I just thought it was really cute um, and really nice, and I liked it a lot. And then, other than that, I bought some things for like after care for myself, um, especially if I do have a vaginal birth, which I plan on having. Um, I looked into it, and so I ordered this stuff, which is Dermaplast. It's a pain relieving spray that's supposed to be really good after you give birth. I also ordered um, these witch hazel pads uh, that are supposed to be really good for down there after you give birth. They just haven't come yet. I think they come tomorrow, actually. Um, and then I ordered two things by this company called uh, Earth Mama Angel Baby. First was the natural um, nipple butter because uh, I was a little worried about the... Uh, the lan lanolin cr yeah lanolin cream because that's like what's they usually use for nipple cream if you have sore nipples after you know like trying to breastfeed and whatnot um, but this one's all natural and it doesn't contain wool which is good because I am allergic to wool a little bit but I, I tested it on lanolin cream on my arm and it seemed to have no effect. I want to put it on my nipples. <laughs> like probably tonight I'll put it on my nipples just so you know. I'll be hanging out with lanolin cream on my nipples just to see if I spark a reaction because I don't want to have some kind of bad reaction when the baby's here and I'm trying to breastfeed and stuff. So yeah, nipple cream. <laughs> and then I bought this, which is the New Mama Bottom Spray, which is supposed to be naturally cooling um, for, you know, prenatal, prenatal hemorrhoids, which I never got, thank goodness, and postpartum soreness. <laughs> um, and then I bought some uh, col cola? I don't know how to pronounce this. It's a stool softener. Because <laughs> it's it, they say that like going to the bathroom is very horrific after you give birth. So I bought this, so immediately after I give birth, I should start taking stool softener. <laughs> just just an FYI, the pretty, pretty perks to being pregnant. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it for this past week. Um, I have a feeling you'll see me again, so I'm like, people, <laughs> people <laughs> are like, this is probably your last video. Uh, I, I have a feeling you'll see me again. Um, I still want to film my maternity gene video, which I'll start filming that actually tonight. And, um, I just have some, I think I have things I want to do. Um, but... I can do them when he's here too. Oh, also our our dresser came yesterday. It's not out of the box. My husband has to like uh, uh, put it together and stuff, but it's a dresser and then a changing pad thing on top. It's like really the only piece of furniture that we have for the baby, that and um, a bassinet. People ask me about a nursery. No nursery. Um, I don't feel that he needs a nursery this early on. Plus we live in a one bedroom condo, so um, yeah. And I can feel my <laughs> congestedness right now. Um, but that's basically it. So I would like to know down below when you think I will be giving birth. Um, I am predicting, <laughs> I am predicting, let's see what today's date is. Today is my due date, April 2nd. I am predicting that I will go into labor. Um, I want to go naturally into labor. I don't want to be induced. Um, but I'm predicting, let's say, I think I'm going to have my baby on April 6th. I think that's when he's going to be born, is April 6th. Um, I like 6. I like the number 7. April 7th would be a nice date, too. April 9th would be a nice date, too. I don't know. <laughs> my first thought was this Saturday, though. But I would love to know when you think I'll be having my baby. <laughs> Post that below. Um, maybe we could, like... I feel like I could do a poll or something, and, like, somebody could win a prize or something exciting like that. Uh, but let me show you my belly now. You can tell me if you think that it's starting to progressively drop, which I feel like it could have dropped a little bit in the past day. Um, 
but nothing too severe. So let's show you. And okay, so let's tell me if you think it's dropped. It looks like way rounder to me today. Doo -doo -doo. So this is my 40 week belly. Let's show you the actual belly now. I still haven't gotten any stretch marks, which I'm happy about. I think it looks like it maybe dropped a little bit. Ah, I'm standing on my tippy toes. <laughs> and that is it. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. If you have any requests for videos, um, post them below. And I'm going to do a video tomorrow. And um, as long as he doesn't come tomorrow, but I'm going to do a video tomorrow. Um, maybe even for my The Current Custom channel because I've neglected that pretty badly. Um, but that's it. So 